I mean, that blue has got to add some torque, right? Right? Oh, for sure. Yo! I'm impressed. <laughs> yes! Nice. Yeah. yeah! Cannon core! I'm just shocked right now. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's go all the way up. So you recommend the Pine X over the GTS? Do you prefer GTS or Pine X? Got the three titans here, ready to battle it out today for uphill torque. I'm cheering for FM to do pretty well today. All right, so before we hit the monster hill, we are going to tackle the OG hill. I don't know if you guys remember this one, but this is the hill that uh, when I first did the hill climb test of a stock XR battery versus stock GT. The GT, I think, could only make it up around like right here, around 25% of the hill. So super curious to see how much torque has been packed in to the GTS. I mean, that blue has got to add some torque, right? Right? Oh, for sure. Okay, ready? Round one, go. Why is it no striking? Ready? Ah! Oh, oh, it's got more than, oh, it's got more than GT for sure. Oh! Woo! Dude, a GT could not do that for sure. And let's change to Apex. Okay. The slope of this hill on the left side is about 17 degrees. Sixteen point two here. Seventeen. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm impressed. That was like the same torque as a stock XR battery on Vesk, and which is a lot already. Actually, you know what? You have a GT here, right? You done? You ready for the slowest haptic buzz? I hit it. Alright, this is the OG GT on Apex. Standing start. Yeah, same result. So definitely confirm the GTS is way more powerful than a GT. Woo! This thing is noisy as f What's going on guys? Today is a very exciting day. We are here with three titans of a board. Shout out to a Eamon, my homie, for lending his brand new GTS. He always gets the latest and greatest toys. Shout out to him. We got the Float Wheel ADV with Pro Battery, GTS, and then Super Flux with a 75 volt meat pack. What we're gonna try today, in the name of science, is climbing up this monster hill, as you guys have probably seen in the last few videos. And we wanna see how these guys stack up against each other compared to the GTS. I gotta say, I'm pretty hopeful. I'm all about competition. I want innovation. And it seems like Future Motion has done that with this board. Huge jump from 75 volts to 113 volts. 50% increase. Yeah. That's right. So um, we love to see that. And I hope, you know, the VEST community has kind of like nudged them in that direction. But either way, this is what we got here today. We're gonna check the temperatures as well. So it appears that the GTS has higher top speed, what it's calibrated for, but we also wanna know for the heavier guys how it does for low end torque. This has actually outperformed the GT and climbed up that basic hill. So it's already passed that test. That hill is way too easy now. We're on to the mother of all hills right here. So I'm looking forward to this. I hope it makes it up. I hope it's close because this is just gonna make the whole community better. All the boards are gonna improve. Let's get at it. Let's do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. 
that just kind of like spun out. Yeah, let's have you try it. Yeah, same thing has happened to you that first run. So the GT Could is be doing better than GTS so far? So far. What? You know what's happening is there's a pattern. I think it's like giving out when there's a sudden need of torque. Like any uh, divot, like this is a very ruddy hill. Yeah. But anytime like it pushes the torque or the nose, it just sort of gives out and you don't even expect it to happen so far. The tractor crawl torque was very impressive, but it was very smooth, very flat. I think this is more like realistic of a actual uphill trail climb that you're gonna hit or encounter. This is weird though. You can try to take it at a lower speed maybe? Try, let's, yeah. let's try going slower. Go Eamon. So that's like before this crater here, and I'd say that's about 25% of the hill. So it's pretty similar. <laughs> It's like marginally better. Yeah. Not like a huge amount, but you definitely noticeably different. I would have thought GTS would have been way better. Yeah, this is weird. Try highlight or something like that? Or try elevated. Elevated? Okay, you got to the hole again? Oh, uh, just about, yeah. Nice. So I think this is after about 78%, so that's a very healthy battery life still being on. elevated. Later. All right, cool. Let's try it. Where is it? Elevated. Let's give it a shot. Oh, shit. Just a little better. Yeah, I think Apex is still the way. That's pretty much. All right, we are on the ADV Pro. 120 amps. So about the same battery as the GTS right now. Alright, attempt one on the ADV. Whoo, cannon core! Yes! Yes! Yeah. Woo! That's the first time! First time on Cannon Core with 120 amps. Team float wheel, right? Nice. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh man! Should I try to go down? Do shit. I ate shit on this last time. Ah! Ah! Guys, that's the first time making it on the ADV still at 120 amps. I'm just shocked right now. Like, float wheel has consistently made it past that tree. So, I wasn't surprised about that. But you see where that top crater is? It's the deepest part. Yeah, that increases by a few degrees right there. <sighs> so, this is super exciting. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's innovation right there. <laughs> Take it a little slower. Yeah. 
Yep, keep that slight pressure on there. Ooh. Ooh. No, it's done. <laughs> you feel it's there though, right? Why did you do that with more weight than me? That's <sighs> crazy. I'm the goat. <laughs> <laughs> You're really bummed right now. <laughs> Hey, you have more practice on the sail, right? It's true, it's true. No, it's all about finding the line, but oh, also, oh, also uh, feathering the weight on the nose. But, dude, I'd say just keep trying it a few more times, and we can get some uh, super flex attempts in there too. Still climbing. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. You're leaning forward a little too much. <laughs> Well, I beat the hey, GT. Better. <laughs> yes. Let's go, Pinex. Bring back the Pinex. Oh. I, mean, I mean, that's where the GT is. That's about the GTS failed, yeah. How much do you weigh? Like 80. 80? Okay, so you can go like 50 miles an hour, right? <laughs> Let's go all the way up. Oh, you're going to do the tractor crawl up, huh? That's pretty steep. All right, get it, man. Going. Oh. Oh. Nice try. So how far was that? It's probably 10% of the way up. Eamon usually makes it to like right there. Not much farther. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know what's going on. I don't know how you explain this. Yeah. Beating the GT with the GTS. Beating the GTS with the GT. Right. Makes no sense. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised too. I will say, tractor crawling, the GTS is way better than a GT. Like, at least twice as good. I was super impressed with the basic hill. But, like, in a real life scenario where you need to have a running start to a bumpy hill, it's not performing up to expectations like i thought it would at least I make it, it halfway far. i made it far but so far on it's only break. making about like 30 40 percent of the way and it hasn't even hit the steepest part yet we're gonna try it in high line and then i think that pretty much wraps it up for the gts we even tried the 80 pound riders too and they're not doing much better high line mode just for science coming through I was hoping more from you, GTS. Hey, it is super light though. That's cool. Yeah, but for like over three thousand dollars, I expect a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> right. Two foot wheels for that. Even, yeah, even I think wheels. I won the pine. I think I made it farther on the pine than that. So you recommend the Pine X over the GTS? In some ways, like going up that hill a little, but. <laughs> More of control and going fast, that one definitely that? You heard it from the future gen yourself. <laughs> Do you prefer GTS or Pine X? Pine X. <laughs> it's actually better. These are not paid actors, guys. I mean, they do get, I guess they get bribed with pizza. Ready? Look, watch. All right, go. All right, we got the Super Flux at 120 amps, same as the float wheel. We passed it, I saw it. Let's see how this goes. And we're also gonna keep the screen recording going for about 15 seconds after from Dotto's feedback so we can track the motor temp because apparently it peaks up uh, about 10, 15 seconds after you get off the board. Super Flux attempt one. You think it's gonna make it up? so close i mean this just goes to show guys the same conclusion i had from my other hill climb 
is that Superflux and Cannon Core are both freaking winners. Like, this is crazy steep at this last part. It's ridiculous. You guys can't see it on camera. To make it up this high is an absolute testament to how strong these motors are and how far we've come in the Vesk world. No, I'm good. I, I did it once. I'm, I'm happy with that. Super flux. Yeah, man. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> All the way. Keep the speed. Keep the speed. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, so close. But dude, pretty much, dude, man. That was way easier than all of them. Dude, you, you practically made it up. Yeah. Damn, dude. Super flux, huh? All right, let's go. Yep. It's just endless power. You feel that? It just dude, kept yeah. going? It just kept going, dude. All right, now go down. Are you really gonna do it? Slow, though. All right, careful. Yeah! So closing thoughts, I was telling Eamon, I just don't feel like this test is satisfying. Yeah. I really wanted the GTS to be close, like comparable to float wheel and super flux, just for the sake of competition and performance. And we tried it like multiple times, different lines, different weights. Definitely perplexing based on the specs alone, right? For sure. The torque kings are still going to be float wheel cannon core and the Fungineer Superflux, that's where the power is. So yeah, try it. I think this is where the nuances come into play with the different battery packs, torque base, speed base. You have your, uh, you can have your magnets calibrated for higher torque, higher speed. This is not to take anything away from GTS of its speed capabilities, because I'm sure this thing is gonna rip at, you know, 30, 35 miles an hour and you have the weight advantage as well. I love how light this thing is. Like when carrying it, that was a breath of fresh air because hauling a 41 pound float wheel yeah. gets tiring. Oh yeah. So this is like almost XR style weight. Well, it's gonna be more, but. Somewhere in between. Yeah, somewhere yeah. in between for sure. Oh, and we're also talking about, it's a little concerning is if you're at those higher speeds on trails and then you hit some divots, mm -hmm. potholes or whatever, um, it feels like the nose is more tippy less uh less stability on the nose when you have duty cycle peak duty cycle hits because we were hitting the bottom 20 percent of this hill at full speed and we were nose diving unexpectedly mm -hmm. when we expected the gt or the pine x to hold the nose better so i think that's where it compromises the torque strength versus the speed higher speed anyway i'm just uh just guessing here Take the custom shaping and try it again. Yeah. Custom, you want to go at it again? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe work one more Should shot. <laughs> yeah, there you guys have it. We have our GTS versus the Super Flux and the Float Wheel ADV Pro battery. And so far, um, you saw, you guys saw, GTS is definitely lacking. Comparable or slightly worse than GT and even Pine X. Which is weird. <laughs> now, for you guys say, okay, this hill is too ruddy. You need a smooth, perfect hill. I hear you guys, but listen. Like, when do you ride a perfectly smooth hill when you're on trails? Unless you're in San Francisco riding the pavement streets. Come on. Like, we gotta test it to the max to put them through hell and see which one comes out on top. So I gotta say, FM. I love the 113 volts, but we need more amps, baby. We need more better magnets from the motor for more torque. So keep working, keep up the progress everyone. Much love, stay tuned for more videos and we'll catch you soon. Peace. I'll have to wait for the GTS. Say bye. Bye. Peace. All right, Eamon, show us what you got. You've been working, right. you've been tinkering in there? Tinkering, just throwing everything max. Max nose, max aggressiveness, max dynamic responsiveness. See All what right. happens. So you're maxed out right now. Maxed out. Dude, this is the max send setting. <laughs> max send setting. Let's go. Let's see it. We have one more Hail Mary. Hey, you want a bigger run up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, get as much of a run up. Like, if you want to start from the parking lot, that's cool too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
I could definitely feel the extra power on it that. It feels though. like there was more. You just yeah. don't push the nose too hard. Yeah. You want to give it a shot? You try it again. All right. All right. Hey, that's better though. So yeah. you made it past the crater. Past the crater. Let's All right. Go. So you got to max out everything. <laughs> so that's the crater. But you're still only about 50% up the hill. Let me try it. Everything's maxed out. The nose is nose 50 is degrees. Okay. Max tilt. All right, gotcha. Yeah, max aggressiveness, max dynamic. So I got to say, just as a asterisk, even if it does well, it's not ideal riding right. settings. Right, you're not right. going to be riding 25 miles per hour with three degrees nose up. So let's try it with three degrees nose up and also zero at okay. the max aggressiveness, right? Okay, better. It's better, but not by much. Oh, shit. Go just one degree. Yep. Sweet. So we're going to do one degree nose up. This is more realistic for regular riding. Let's see if it'll help with the hill. Ah, man! Ah! Dude, every time you hit the bumps, it just, the nose goes down. There's just not enough torque for the duty cycle hits. Wait, so your favorite was the Super Flux until you tried the float wheel? Yeah. Float wheel. Really? Nice, so we got a float wheel. Wait, we got float wheel and this. also float, float wheel. wheel. And then we got. Yeah. Me and Egon can both Need some more time. <laughs> time will tell. Guys, look at me and You're conflicted up. now. Conflicted guy now. <laughs> it was straight up GTS. Oh, for sure. A couple days ago. <laughs> and now it's like, I could consider more options. Right, right, right. All right, all right. But, dude, that's a great thing, you know? There's competition now. Mm -hmm. We got float wheel all assembled. We have DIY, build it yourself. And we got Future Motions GT. It's a win, win, win. And we gotta give a shout out here to uh, up and comer <laughs> YouTuber. Should I say my YouTube name? Oh yeah. CR7 uh, SS. Dope. And what kind of content are you doing? Uh, soccer edits. Sweet. What's your name? Edon. Edon. Check him out on YouTube. You think the haptic buzz is worse because of Apex? Who's Apex? 